not sure how I can agree with the casting, but at the same time, I hate it so much. It's a, a stereotypical love-hate thing. So let's talk about the new casting for House of the Dragon. I already know which one you guys did not like. I'm right there with you. Sorta. <laughs> Hi, thanks for clicking on this video. If you like it, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm trying to get to six, six, six patrons. You can join an ever-growing cult and help us summon the Dark Lord. Link in the video description down below, or just go to patreon.com slash rawest. Listen, I'm a simple elderly woman. I see casting for a Game of Thrones prequel, and I think wrong. You fucked it all up! Jesus Christ, HBO. Get your shit together. Idiots. Okay, but let me back it up. So yeah, let's rewind. Let's say you still had brain damage from the final season of Game of Thrones. Understandable. So House of the Dragon is a Game of Thrones prequel, Game of Thrones spinoff, and it takes place about 150 years before the show and the first A Song of Ice and Fire book. It's a terrible Targaryen civil war. You have two half-siblings just freaking out on each other. Uh, you have the High Towers just being absolute assholes. I have videos on the Dance of the Dragons, but they're very old. They're about five or six years old. Uh, on the internet, that's old, sorry. Uh, I know me being elderly, I'm much older than that. So I can, of course, do a re-breakdown of it, maybe in a more um, concise way than those videos. I don't know. I guess you can let me know. So anyways, we're getting a live-action Targaryen-centered prequel. It'll be 10 episodes. They've already hired the 10 episodes to... They hired the 10 episodes. Yeah, they hired them. They ordered the 10 episodes, so it's going to happen. Don't feel like this is another, oh, the long night prequel where they're gonna film the pilot and then just go, yeah, fuck it, this sucks. No, we're getting the full 10 episodes. This is happening. Okay, so here's the new casting. And again, I know which one you're not gonna like. Okay, so the newest news on casting is that we now have the actors for Rhaenyra Targaryen, Daemon Targaryen, and Alicent Hightower. Rhaenyra is, of course, one of the two half-siblings fighting over the throne. Daemon Targaryen is her uncle and eventual husband and just a complete badass. I mean... <sighs> Alison Hightower is a psycho bitch that needs to learn her place, but she is the mother of Aegon II and the stepmom of Rhaenyra. So for Rhaenyra, they cast Emma de Arcy, and I kind of really like this casting just because she has that face of an older Rhaenyra that is just done with your fucking shit and wants her kingdom. So I like it, but at the same time, for younger Rhaenyra, I, I want to say this, uh, she really doesn't look like the realm's delight. I'm not a, a beauty pageant winner. I mean, I'm a two on a good day. I'm not, I'm not trying to like fucking judge women, okay? I, I just feel like she doesn't match young Renera. Older Renera? Yeah. Now the one you guys are really gonna hate. Prince Daemon Targaryen is played by Matt Smith. I know. I don't know how to feel about this. I guess I was first introduced to Matt Smith via being a doctor, and from there, even though he did have some homicidal moments, he just seemed like a big goofy teddy bear. I guess I did see him in The Crown playing Prince Philip, and he definitely played a really good asshole in that. My concern is Daemon is just this absolute badass warrior just doing his own thing. He makes women's panties drop everywhere. And I'm not saying that Matt Smith isn't attractive. I am saying I would drop my panties for him. But I don't know if I look at Matt Smith and I think, this is a fucking hardened warrior that is going to do the most badass thing during this war. I don't know, I guess I kind of looked at Daemon Targaryen as the ultimate Chad. I, you can let me know if you like the Matt Smith casting. It just doesn't seem... great. Lastly, Olivia Cook is playing Allison Hightower, and I think this is an excellent pick because here's why. I hate the Hightowers. I hate them. I covered the Reach extensively, and you guys know when I cover regions, I cover houses regardless of whether I like them or not. I never did a video on the Hightowers. House Hightower. Fuck them. 
I really like who they picked as Alicent. I can see her as being somebody that is able to weasel her way into a king and then try to just fuck up an entire kingdom because she's a selfish, power-hungry bitch. So I feel like they cast her perfectly, and I can look at that actress and go, yeah, you should have just been beat relentlessly. If you're wondering, uh, principal photography begins in a few months, so if things are starting to roll on this series, I still wouldn't expect to see it until late 2022 or maybe early 2023, but at least we're getting the major casting done. Principal photography starts in a few months, so we're getting there. We're also in the middle of the pandemic, so I take what I can get. Oh, really quick, lastly, lastly, sorry, recovering from surgery and shit. <laughs> I'm a little behind on stuff. Uh, HBO did release concept art for some dragons for House of the Dragon. I'm putting them on screen right now so you can look at them, admire them. It's only two pieces of concept art, but I'll take anything. Honestly, Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire, just give it to me. I don't care what it is anymore. So the first photo, we see a full body of a dragon and looking absolutely splendid. And it looks like maybe there's burnt stuff in the background. So maybe this dragon just um, ruined some people's days. Speaking of ruining people's days, there's then a, a close up of a dragon and he looks like he's just about to fuck up someone's entire day like he looks angry look at those eyes either he's angry he's just really hitting the midnight oil i don't know maybe he has another job um or or three maybe he's a a, a crackhead i don't know i don't know when the targaryens give the talk to their dragons but i'm i'm hoping this isn't a case of drug abuse let's all just cross our fingers and pray for this dragon concept art but I'm sure we're gonna get tons more concept art, tons more teases. I can't wait till filming starts, as long as it's done safely. I think with the vaccine coming out, we'll probably get some juicy filming details around summer for House of the Dragon at the latest. I don't know, but you know, subscribe and stalk the show with me because I have problems that and stalking George R. R. Martin. Oh my gosh, such an obsession. Hi, like and subscribe, otherwise this gnome will find you tonight.